Hi folks! Let's dig a little deeper in how the new built-in purge option in Tailwind works. We'll take our example from a previous video where we have this simple HTML page for which we specified the path in our purge array in our config file. We will run our production script, which will attempt to purge the unused styles. We get a warning message. The conservative purge mode will be removed in Tailwind 2.0. Please switch to the new layers mode instead. What these layers refer to here are our different Tailwind sections, base, components, and utilities. The default purge behavior in Tailwind 2.0 will be to purge all three layers, whereas the previous default mode, conservative, would only purge the utilities layer. Let me demonstrate that real quick. We have just ran our styles to purge CSS, and as you can see, the file is much smaller than before. However, if I search for the container string in there, we'll find 25 instances of it, defining max width at different breakpoints. If I search for the container string in my HTML file, there are zero instances of it. So why is it in the CSS output? Well, the reason is the container class comes from the components layer. Remember, the conservative mode only purges the utilities layer, and that's why our container component makes it to the final output. Okay, so let's try that new layers mode. To do so, we can opt in a future feature by adding a future key to our config and setting a flag called purge layers by default to be true. Let's run our production script once again. And no more warnings this time. Container classes are gone from our CSS output and our file size is even a bit smaller than before at 14 kilobytes. While this in itself could be all you need to care about, let's dig a bit deeper on how you would take a bit more control over how things are purged. To be able to customize how purge behaves, the first thing you'll want to do is pass an object to the purge key and move the array of paths inside a content property within that object. We'll now look at a few options that are available to you. We've seen that the purge is by default set to only run when the node env is set to production. If you want to handle this differently, you can use the Enabled option and handle when styles should be purged yourself. For example, if I set Enabled to false and run my production script once again, no styles will be purged. We opted out of purging entirely. I'll set it to true for the rest of this video so it always runs the purge. By default, Tailwind will preserve all basic HTML element styles in your CSS, like styles for the HTML, body, p, h1 tags, etc. This is useful if you're using Markdown, have markup coming from a database, or other situations. If you are sure that you do not want to keep these, you can turn off that feature by setting the Preserve HTML Elements option to false. As you can see, we shaved off another 2 kilobytes from our CSS output. If you want to specify which layers should be purged, you can pass an array with the layers that you want to purge. Let's say for some strange reason, I want to purge the components layers only, and keep all the utilities, I would set the value to just components. You can see now we have our thousands of utilities back, but if I search for the container component, it's nowhere to be found in this file. Worth noting that this will only work if the mode is set to layers, which it is in our case since we made it be the default value via the purge layers by default flag. If I set its value to conservative, we are now purging all our unused utilities and the container class is back. Tailwind's default layers mode will ensure Tailwind only purges styles it generated itself. This makes sure we don't accidentally strip out CSS that you need, but is not directly referenced in your templates, like classes coming from a file in your node modules folder. While we generally do not recommend you use it, there's another mode available, the all mode. Again, we suggest you do not use this but it's there if you really want it and you know what you're doing. To demonstrate how this mode works and what could accidentally happen, I'll add an external dependency to this project, the Pickaday date picker. For the sake of simplicity, I added the CSS and JavaScript for Pickaday in a Pickaday.css and Pickaday.js file in our public directory. In my index.html file, I will add a script tag that references this JS file and open another script tag where we can set up the date picker const picker equals new pickaday and I will add a field option set to document.getElementById and set it to date, which is the ID of the date input here. In my tailwind.css file over here, 
I'll add an add import declaration and import the pkra.css file. Let's have a look at our page and we now have a nice date picker field. Let's use the default layers mode and see what happens. The utilities are purged, but none of the picker day styles have been removed. The date picker still looks good. Let's try now to switch the aggressive all mode on. If I look at the booking form once again, whoa, it's all broken. Since the classes are injected via JavaScript and are not present in the HTML file itself, the all mode went ahead and stripped them all out. Because we have the file locally here, we could add our pkday.js file to the array of files to scan in our purge, but it's not always practical. Your file could be somewhere deep in your node modules folder and hard to reference. In that case, you'd have to add a series of classes you want to keep in a whitelist that you pass directly to purge CSS via the options key and going through all of this is probably not worth in this case. Sure, if you're pulling a giant CSS dependency and you know that you can get significant savings by setting the mode to all, then go ahead, the option is here for you. That's it for the tour of the new built-in purge. If you've been configuring it manually in earlier versions of Tailwind, you probably appreciate how much nicer this new implementation is. Matter of fact, you can still do the manual configuration if you wish so. Set the enabled property to false in your config file, or you can pass false directly to the purge property as a boolean. From there, the implementation of purge CSS is up to you. Head over to the Tailwind CSS documentation website for a detailed guide on how to do just that.